Hi guys, Luna here, welcome back to another Skyrim mod video. Today is Sunday, so that means we let loose a bit and we take a look at the slutier side of Skyrim mods. Things that I don't usually add to my regular mod videos, as they're not for everyone, but they are still popular for some people, and we cover them on Sundays. As always, this video is not going to be really long, as slutty mods tend to be either texture replacers or armors, so they don't take too long to look through, but I tried to make the video as long as possible. Anyway, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy, and we can just jump into our first mod. Our first mod of the day is the Vibes Body Replacer. Now there is an X seam, I just didn't want to spend a long time trying to figure out how to get rid of that by swapping around loads of stuff in my load order for the body replacer to work, but you get to see the body replacer anyway, and the rest of my mods I did figure out how to get rid of the seam. Anyway, the Vibes Body Replacer will work with all NPCs, all races, both male and female, with some of the best textures from PC as well. The mod utilizes assets from other mods such as Caliente's Beautiful Bodies, Diamondized UMP Female Body, Fitness Body, and Ohm's Rat Race. So if you wanted a better looking female body, then check this one out. Also guys, this replacer allows you to be completely nude if you want to. I can't show you guys though, obviously, for YouTube rules and all that, but you can keep that in mind. Our next mod is the CT77 Body Preset and the CT77 Remodeled Armor and Clothing mod. Remodeled Armor and Clothing CT77 is a complete set of revealing outfits remodeled for the CT77 Body Preset that replaces all vanilla armor and clothing. Outfits are intentionally skimpy and no way intended to maintain realism. The set includes virtually all Skyrim Dongard and Dragonborn vanilla outfits. The mod however only works, as I said, with the body preset. Also the mod not only changes the armor for your player, but also all female NPCs as well, so slutiness all around. This mod is for folks that like the Seraphim body, but don't like the Dungeon Explorer harness and arm cuffs to go with it. This removes those so you just have the basic underwear on the body. It still requires the original Seraphim female body placer though, just put this version underneath it in your load order. Our next mod starts off with a warning. This armor is rather revealing and if you like immersion and realism, then the armor probably isn't for you. The mod adds to the game several pieces of armor crafted at any smithing station under the steel category, but have the same armor ring as elven and dwarven gear. Not all pieces can be currently tempered, but they can be enchanted if you want to, but the author of the mod says he's working on making this stuff temperable. If you're interested, there is another version of this mod which is the original version. This version we are looking at is pretty much the same one, but some of the armors have been altered by the author to his personal preferences. For armors, the mod comes with loads of different pieces like armor, belts, arms, shoulders and leg parts for you to equip. Our next mod is the Dark Vampire Knight Armor. The armor is female only of course and is considered heavy armor. It's craftable under the ebony section at the forge and comes with boots, cuirass, pauldrons, gloves, all of which come in four different colour variants, green, a brownish orange colour, blue and the original colour which is black. Our next slutty mod adds to Skyrim an armoured chainmail bikini. The bikini comes in two variants, so it's the same bikini, it just uses a different body replacer for each. It has an armor rating of just 22, but you can refine and enchant them if you want a bit more protection. So that's really all this mod adds. Next up we have Cause Cat Disguise. The mod adds cat ears, headbands and fake cat tails to the game. The headbands work like circlets. The cat disguise only works for human characters though, so a gold ruby circlet will be shown instead when equipped to a Khajiit or Argonian, and the fake tail will just be replaced with the regular Khajiit or Argonian tail, so you can't have some kind of Khajiit Argonian mute hybrid. The cat tail acts as an, a necklace or amulet, it's not a real tail with proper tail animations, it's just a fake one with simulated bone weight, so it moves when you move, and may look strange doing some actions and poses though. The mod also adds the cat ear band in regular light and heavy versions as well as the cat tail amulet. All can be refined and enchanted and craftable at the forge. Next up we have girly animations. The mod replaces the default animations in game for females to be more feminine. So here are the current animations changed by the mod. Magic walk run and idle for female. Bow walk and run for female. Bow held idle for female. In fact all of these are for female except for the final two. One handed weapon idle. Dual handed weapon idle. So by idle it means that you have these equipped but you're not doing anything. One handed or dual weapon walk movement. One handed dual weapon run movement. Weapon run. Weapon turn movement and Jump and Sneak have also been changed for both male and female. So those are all the current changed animations and I'm sure the author is working on adding more to the game. Our next mod is another skimpy vampire armor mod that adds into Skyrim a leather, light armor with boots, cuirass, pauldrons and gloves, all of which are temperable and can be enchanted as well. The armor comes in a mixture of colors like gold red, gold blue, steel black, copper black, copper green, iron red and copper white. 
The thing that makes this one different from the other armor that we looked at though, is under the jewelry section, you can also craft a circlet and a set of vampire wings to match the armor if you want to. So I think this one looks a bit better than the previous vampire armor. Along with the wings, it looks really awesome. Our final mod is the Seraphim Skimpy Armor and Clothing Replacer. This is a huge mod at over 600 megabytes, and it basically takes every set of armor in the vanilla game and alters them to be more skimpy. So now any of the armors you now equip on your female characters, along with any of the female NPCs in the game, will now be wearing really only the minimum clothing. None of the stats of the armors are affected or anything like that, the mod is simply a retexture so it won't affect any perks or armor rating. Well guys, there we have it, 10 salute or female only mods that you can download right now if you'd like the look of them. If you enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe. I will of course be back again next Sunday with another video for 10 more salute mods. So until then guys, stay awesome and I will see you all next time.